As witnessed at the presentation of the brand's first ever dedicated electric vehicle GV60 crossover, called Futuring Genesis, the new mission of Genesis is now clearer than ever. And that is to become a full lineup EV brand faster than anyone else. They will accomplish this by first, introducing only the electric and hydrogen model from 2025, and stop the sales of all ICE cars by 2030, and finally becoming fully carbon neutral by 2035, which is 10 years ahead of the rest of the Hyundai brands such as Hyundai and Kia. In this episode of AutoVision, we will find out what steps are being taken by the Korean luxury brand to accomplish this daunting task in such a short time, as it's preparing eight new electric models for the new chapter in the company's history, and become a leader in the industry by selling 400,000 units of luxury EVs a year. So, before we go on, we'd highly appreciate your support by subscribing, and turning on the notification bell, if you haven't already. And please don't forget to like, comment, and vote on the question that's presented at the end of the video. As soon as the new Korean luxury brand finally establishes itself after many years of effort and perseverance, with a lineup of luxury cars that offer stunning design and performance with the internal combustion engines, the company is now trying to reinvent itself again. It's definitely a shame that Genesis will have to give up on everything that they created in the past 15 years, just as when everything seems to be on track, but that doesn't seem to phase the resilient Korean company that's quite comfortable playing the long game. It took them almost 10 years after creating the company's first ever rear-wheel drive cars in 2007 and carefully monitoring the market, that the new luxury division was created in 2015. And since then, it continued to invest in more bespoke rear-wheel drive platformed cars, that they were prepared to lose money on in short term, rather than creating badge-engineered pseudo-luxury cars based on the mass-market brands Hyundai and Kia front-wheel drive products, which would have been much lucrative. However, Genesis didn't deviate from its goal to become a respected luxury brand that could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with anything that Germany could throw into the fight. Selling the car was a different story though, as there were plenty of tribulations to get to where they are now, with the sales network problems during the process of separating Genesis from existing Hyundai dealers that led to lawsuits, causing the company to stop importing products altogether at one point. In addition, with the pandemic causing a delay in the key products like the GV80 and G80, the company was definitely struggling to survive for the first few years since the launch in the US in 2017. However, awkwardly aided by a high-profile accident involving Tiger Woods in the GV80, which may have saved the golf legend's life, Genesis instantly became a household name, causing the sale to skyrocket by 75% over the previous year. However, this time around, the company doesn't have the luxury of 15 years to invest in creating something completely independent of the rest of the Hyundai Motor Group. So, it will have to draw upon the available EV platform eGMP, which isn't a terrible place to start. eGMP features an advanced 800 volts charging architecture, which is miles ahead of most players in the market, even exceeding the technology offered by Mercedes-Benz and BMW. Utilizing the eGMP platform, Genesis will add its touches to make ordinary EVs into something magical, the kind of opulence, technology, and performance that we are accustomed to seeing in the models such as GV80 and G90. The first of such products was Genesis's first ever dedicated electric vehicle GV60, which is equivalent to the spectacular Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6, that are proving to be two of the best EVs in the world with their style and technology. The Genesis version takes the formula further by offering a luxurious interior, an excellent performance with 0 to 60 miles per hour time of just 4.5 seconds for the 483 horsepower performance model, and the range up to 280 miles or 451 kilometers from the standard rear-wheel drive model. In addition to the electrified G80 and GV70, the derivative EVs that have already been introduced, the GV60 will definitely aid in Genesis's pursuit to become a leader in the luxury EV market. However, that's not everything. To be built alongside the production versions of the Hyundai 7 concept and the Kia EV9 concept, which has been unveiled as the respective brand's future direction of the SUV design, the all-new GV90 will be the largest and the most luxurious SUV ever to hail from Korea. Known to be as big as Cadillac Escalade, the eGMP based three-row ultra-luxurious SUV is to feature 100 kWh battery and up to 600 horsepower dual-motor all-wheel drive power electric system, to become the first Genesis product to break the $100,000 barrier, which may be seen as a bargain compared to the Mercedes-Benz EQS SUV with a price of up to $200,000. The next vehicle to expect from Genesis using the eGMP would be the next-generation G70 sedan. It will likely have a lot in common with the upcoming Ioniq 6, 
but will be nothing like the mass market Hyundai sedan in terms of luxury and performance, with expected power of up to 600 horsepower from dual motor setup and the range exceeding 311 miles or 500 kilometers. With the introduction of the G70, we may be able to see a coupe bearing the Genesis name making a comeback since it was discontinued in 2016 under the Hyundai nameplate. Expected to be called the Genesis GT70, the coupe version of the G70 will essentially be the production version of the beautiful X concept. Also planned is a shooting brake version of the coupe, which would actually work better given the practicality the flat-floored eGMP would offer. Herein lies the potential problem of the eGMP platform, as it works great for crossovers and SUVs, as the battery is placed flat on the floor to offer more interior space, but may pose problems in creating low-slung coupes and sports cars, with a height that needs to be as low to the ground as possible. This reason along with the inherent design limitation that allows only up to 600 horsepower, which would be plenty for mass-market vehicles, but could be a problem for a luxury sports car maker. This is why Genesis is developing an entirely new platform to meet the requirements of future vehicles that's more powerful and sleeker than any of the offerings possible on the eGMP. The Genesis exclusive electric platform will be created with the help of its affiliate Remag and the use of the battery core, which would help to bring down the height of the car taken up by the floor-mounted battery pack and give the vehicle additional structural rigidity at the same time, required for high-performance vehicles. The Genesis EV platform will also be designed to accommodate the hydrogen fuel cell stack and fuel tank, to meet the corporate mandate to only produce battery electric and hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles from the year 2030. In fact, the first sample of this platform will be used to produce a hybrid battery electric and fuel cell electric vehicle, so that hydrogen FC EV can find more widespread use, until the infrastructure for hydrogen refueling is fully established, which is a concept very similar to the plug-in hybrid that bridges the gap between the internal combustion engine and the battery electric system. We have already seen a sample of this in action when the Vision FK concept was unveiled in 2021. The rear-wheel drive sports car acts as a normal battery electric vehicle until the battery is depleted, and the fuel cell kicks in to provide juice to power the motor that puts out 500 kilowatts or 680 horsepower, to provide the maximum range of 600 kilometers or 373 miles, while achieving 0 to 100 kilometers per hour time of just 4 seconds. The horsepower figure is expected to increase to 1000, when it's commercialized as the elusive GT90 supercar, which will be based on the spectacular Essentia concept. The Genesis Halo car should be able to achieve 0 to 100 km per hour time of under 3 seconds. However, hydrogen fuel cells won't see action only to show off Hyundai's technology prowess in a Halo car, but will be put into use in the full range of models. Hyundai says that by 2030, the price of hydrogen FCEVs will be similar to BEVs, with the introduction of the third-generation fuel cell technology that's currently being developed to replace the current version found in Nexo FCEV, to make it cheaper to produce by 50%, and less bulky by 30%, while increasing the output by two to three times. FYI, in preparation for the hydrogen future dubbed Hydrogen Vision 2040, Hyundai is already building factories that will turn out 700,000 hydrogen fuel cell systems a year by 2030. Of course, they won't be all for passenger cars, as they will be expected to power everything from commercial trucks, buses, stationary generators, and even ships, but it goes to show how determined Hyundai is about making hydrogen a reality in the future. The already unveiled GV60 will be available for sale in early 2022, while the GV90 is slated for 2023. The G70 and the GT70 pairing are expected afterward between 2023 and 2024, with the GT90 expected after 2025. All it remains is the electrified version of GV80 and G90, which should be sometime between 2022 and 2023, and Genesis would have completed its full lineup comprised of 8 battery EVs and 1 hydrogen vehicle for the next era. As for the end of the video question, which of the vehicles featured in this episode do you look forward to the most? A quintessential crossover GV60, the luxurious and imposing GV90, next generation G70 electric sedan, the return of Genesis Coupe in GT70, or the ultimate hydrogen hybrid supercar GT90. Please vote and share your views by clicking on the link in the comment section below. Thanks for watching AutoVision, your best source for the fastest Korean car news and rumors. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and click on the notification bell, as not to miss any of our new videos. It would help the channel greatly if you could view our videos as soon as they are uploaded, and watch them all the way until the end, which would help to reach more people. Also, to support our channel even further, please join our membership and enjoy the exclusive content and preview of the upcoming episodes. 
Finally, don't forget to join our forum and share your passion for Korean cars at koreancarnews.com. See you next time with the latest Korean car news. Amazing together as one